All right, folks, we've got Matthew Todd here from Todd Capital Group, and uh, we are about to do a, we've just, actually, we've just done a 50-minute long uh, podcast where Matthew talked through his trading story and gave us a whole bunch of tips and techniques that you guys can apply to your own trading. So go and check that out. There should be a link underneath this video, or you might be listening to it on the website, tradingnut.com. Um, right, so Matthew's going to walk through a recent tra trade on G uh, EJ, so over to you, Matthew. All right, no worries. Um, so yeah, basically today on uh, on our London stream, uh, we, we managed to pick out a really nice uh, EJ sell. Um, now the reason behind the EJ sell is, is basically what I'd analyze from the weekly down. Um, so what I tend to do first is I tend to look at the weekly candle. Um, typically the, the previous week, but because this current week um, is so bearish, uh, I could see that there was a lot of downside momentum there. So what I'm focusing on is, isn't necessarily the structure or anything this far to the left. I'm, I'm focusing solely on this current candle, which I can see is pretty strong bearish right now. Um, and then what I do is I move down onto the daily time frame and I ask myself what the structure is on the daily. I need to see, is the market making higher highs and higher lows, or is the market making lower highs and uh, lower lows, which of course signify that downtrend. Now, because I'm bearish based on the weekly candle, I would much prefer to see lower highs and lower lows based on the daily structure as well to sort of correlate with the weekly time frame. Um, so as you can see here, uh, we actually have the market making what would be a high, a low and a lower high. So that sort of gives us the confidence that, okay, what we could be doing is now selling off. Yesterday's candle, again, very, very strong bearish, completely engulfing uh, the candles prior to it. So you can tell again that there's a lot of selling pressure there. So for me, I've already decided based on the weekly and the daily that my bias is sells. So that's what I want to look for. I'm not really interested in trying to buy the market, especially after a daily candle like that. So I'm looking for uh, purely just sells. So then what I'll do is I go down onto the four hour chart. And again, I want to sort of look at the structure of the four hour chart and ask myself, okay, whereabouts can I try and find an opportunity. So what I did is I focused on this section just here. Okay. And the reason I needed to focus on this whole section is because I need to know what is the structure before this move. So as you can see, we've got a low down here, followed by a high, a higher low, a higher high, and a higher low. So this was this would signify an uptrend, right? This is bullish price action. The market's making higher highs and higher lows. But because I'm looking to sell based on daily and based on weekly, then I need to see this structure broken, right? So what I would need to happen is this low here to be breached to form what would be a new lower low. So you can see the market pushed back up, formed an equal high to the high here, and then eventually broke down below this low. So we've now formed a lower low. So what I'm anticipating at this point is a lower high. And when I can see that lower high form, I can start to look for opportunities to take sales. So now, because we have this new low, my bias on EJ four hour chart has also flipped bearish, which again correlates with the daily and the weekly. So now I have three of the time frames that I trade on the same side, right? So then what I'll do is jump down onto that 30 minute chart and look for the exact same thing, right? I'm looking for structure breaks on the 30 minute chart. Now, because I know that this area here, this gray zone, is the four hour retest level. What I can start to do is say, okay, whereabouts, what sort of projection do I need to see uh, and whereabouts can I actually execute a trade? So you can see quite nicely up here, we're starting to get some 30 minute bearish candles showing that the momentum to the upside is actually slowing down. And what we could start doing is coming back down to retest, not only this low, but this, this low down here, which is the lowest point that the market's got to on that current uh, four hour trend. All right, that downtrend that we were on. So I'm looking for this sort of area here to take some sales. Now, what I did notice to the left-hand side was we have this really clean candle moving up, right? So we have this zone. We have this area right here where there's a nice clean candle moving to the upside. So what I'm saying is, okay, well, when the market breaks this little wick here, right, which is a little bit of support, okay, I would expect a mirror image of what happened here. So given that we have the confluence of the weekly being bearish, the daily being bearish, four hour being bearish, 
and now 30 minute rejection from the high, the 30 minute chart is now flipping bearish as well. It's telling us that, okay, we are looking at uh, bearish momentum, selling pressure coming into the market. So where can I look to execute? So my little horizontal ray here, um, just at the low of this wick at 117.73 is where I would look to execute a sell. Now, on stream this morning, we gave two potential options. We can either set sell stops below this level, okay, or we can wait for this candle to close, right, so break the level, then close, and then execute a sell. So the reason that I use sell stops is to try and catch momentum whilst it's there, right? Sometimes with sell stops, they will trigger you in, pull back, and then continue. You just don't know what one it's going to do, but for me, I entered based on the sell stop. So I took a trade on a break of the low uh, of this area here to, to fill this clean candle, and then what I had was my stop loss above the high of the previous candle. Target's going to be back down at these lows down here because this is the next level of support. And as you can see, the market then broke below, triggered me into the trade, pulled back and closed back above. So what I had to say to myself was, as long as this next candle fails to break the high of the previous, we should continue moving down. And that's what we did. Again, we have another candle here failing to break the high of the previous, another candle, failing to break the high of the previous, and then eventually we got that drop all the way down to the target. Now, just like in the ca in structure, if we are forming, for example, um, higher lows and higher highs, like this, I want to see the same thing in the candles. So if we're looking for sales, we need for the market to break this last significant low, before we can say, okay, the market structure is now bearish. Mm. Just like for sales, when the market's making lower highs and lower lows, like this, we would need the market to break this high here before we can look for buys. It's the same on the candlesticks. That's how I tend to do it. It's the same on candlesticks. So if we are selling right now, as long as we fail to break the previous candle's high, that selling pressure is still there, and we should still be confident in the sell trade. And only once the previous candle's high has been broken would we say, okay, I'm ready to exit the trade now. I think it might reverse. And you can actually see that example down here. We stalled at our support level. And finally, this bullish candle broke above the high of the previous. And what happened? The market moved up. Hmm. But before that, at no point did we break the candle high previous to it. They all continued to make lower highs. And then eventually, this candle made a higher high to the previous and we pushed up. Now that doesn't necessarily change my bias, but it's a good uh, a good little sign for me to then execute the uh, sorry ex exit the trade if I'm still in it. And that's pretty much the breakdown that we had on uh, on EJ today. And what you might find happens now is this candle closes in seven minutes. We may be forming a little bit of resistance at this area here to then break through the support and tap our end target down at around one seventeen thirty. Cool. Brilliant. Well, look, that's fantastic stuff. Like this, this video, guys, I'd probably go back and watch it a few times, um, have it on repeat. Now, uh, if you want to find out a bit more uh, about Matthew, then head over to tradingnut.com. You'll be able to find him in the search box there. Episode number, actually, I don't know what it is at the moment, but you'll be able to find that. And um, for the guys that want to learn a bit more about you, what, what, uh, where's best go they go? Um. Well, the YouTube channel just here, you could head over to just uh, youtube.com forward slash Todd Capital Group. Um, tons of videos on there as well. And in the about section, you'll have all the information that you need in regards to the Instagram, email, anything like that. Um, Instagram itself is uh, underscore Todd Capital Group if you want to contact us there. Um, but all the information is pretty much on the about section on YouTube. So you can get in touch with us there. Brilliant. Well, look, thank you very much for coming on the show. And um Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this video. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube uh, and then check out Todd's stuff afterwards.